So here we are on deck seven of the Silver Dawn, and this is a deluxe veranda suite. Um, I'm pretty midship, I would say. Um, it's a, a well-appointed cabin. I'm gonna take you around, show you all the features of this cabin. So let's flip the camera around and go and have a look around. So I'm in the living area of the cabin right now, but we're gonna go back to the to the main entrance and kind of start there and work our way to the to the balcony. So after you come in, come in the door to the suite, the first thing you'll find is your bathroom. Now this is a shower and bath setup. And there's been a few changes here since since I was on the Silver Moon last year. Um, little thing like you see the bath here, the tray that's across the top now has a stand for reading, for books, for um, Kindles, iPads, phones, all that sort of thing. So those things don't take a bath with you at the same time, which I think is great. Just a handy little feature to make things easier. All the products in here are Bulgari products and you'll see them around the cabin in the shower. They also offered a, the, my butler Chester offered a hypoallergenic alternative to these and just asked for me to let him know if I wanted those or if I just wanted to try them for a change but it was nice to have an option. As you can see this, this is a well appointed shower with a rainfall head and a, and a traditional shower head. Handle for safety, nice big door, also a tray so it, the water doesn't actually leak out onto the floor. So if you actually see here, this is a wooden floor, which is great. It makes it much less slippery when, when getting out the bath or the shower, which is just a nice touch. I've been on a couple of cruise ships where um, the floor can become quite quite slippery when you know when exiting the shower or the bath. You can see there's also uh, multiple handles around the bath for easy access, easy to get in and easy to get out because the bath is quite low in the floor. It's almost lower than it's almost lower than the the main bathroom floor here. Uh, and as you can see, there's also a shower head for the bath as well. So as we head out of the bathroom and down the suite, you'll see the walk-in wardrobe. I would usually try and film this before I put all my stuff in. But as I said, when I first got here, Chester wanted to, had offered to unpack my luggage for me. So he did that and as you can see, he's hung everything and and place the shoes underneath here. The two cupboard doors at the top here actually house your safe and a jewelry box on top. And then underneath there's six compartment, uh, six drawers for the rest of your luggage. There's plenty of hanging space and plenty of hangers, which is great, especially if there's two of you traveling. Also storage below and storage above. Here is the laundry bag and the list for items that you, you want um, laundered, you're able to fill the bag, place it on the front of your door, and that, providing you do that before nine o'clock in the morning, they guarantee that it's gonna be back before before six in the evening. As we exit the, the wardrobe and head further down into the suite, you will find the double bed. Double bed is a gray size. I believe you can be split, split into twins. Um, also, there is a bag that was here. I've unpacked that so I can show you what's inside and I will do that in just a second. Um, bedside tables, there's two. Both have, have their own drawer, both have um, light switches, its own lamp, and there's a reading lamp here as well, which I will try and show you, which is flexible, so you can put it into the perfect position. Um, USB, uh, USB sockets are here. Now, interestingly, on the Silver Dawn here, USB sockets have a US, USB type A and the USB type C. That's something I mentioned in my video on the moon that both were type A, and a lot of a lot of electronics now are coming with USB-C cables, so it's nice to have a mixture. Just makes things a little bit easier. On this side of the bed, you'll find um, two different styles um, plug sockets, more light switches, lamp and reading lamp, and also your phone, so you can call room service or call call the butler. Now, if we head back to the bag that was on on the bed when I first arrived, this is a Bulgari bag. It comes with a with a medical mask disposable one with disinfectant wipes and some hand sanitizer and a sanitizer carrier which is really handy for when you're going on the shore excursions you can just clip it on your trousers 
um, clipping it on a belt loop and, and away you go. Just makes it that much easier not to lose it in the bottom of a bag like I have done in the past. I should also mention whilst we're in this empty cabin, the big full length mirror, which is great for when, when getting dressed for dinner or for, or for anything really, but especially for dinner when you're trying to pick out that perfect outfit. As we head further down the suite, because this is a suite, you can see that it is separatable by this curtain. Um, obviously I have it open, I'm staying here on my own, so not necessarily I have to do that, but I can also use it to help keep the light out in the morning by having two sets of curtains closed. Uh, this is my welcome champagne for when I arrived. A nice comfortable sofa, comfortably see two people on it, more lamps, light switches again for the, for the entire cabin, um, plug socket, some more storage space here. There was also some books on this one, but peek behind the camera. I had to use those to stand the camera on to, to do my first impressions video, so they are now actually over here. And again, on this side, another table with some more storage, um, light switches, and a plug socket. There's also a chair and table, which makes it nice and easy to have, um, if you're traveling in a larger party, to have more people in here. Super easy, I mean, plenty of space. Also, just a nice comfortable chair. I find it better for my back because I'm someone who suffers with a bad back. So as we head into the living area here, you'll actually see that the this is where the TV is situated. Everything you want, you could want on the ship is available through the TV. You can find the menus, you can find what's going on. You can see cameras of the ship, you can see the day planner, you can see the ports of call and the, 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 the ship's information in regards to speed and weather and all those sorts of things. Everything is available through here. It's super easy to navigate. Possibly I'll do a video on that as well, just with the, with the remote control. So, there's the phone. Phone obviously connects, so we can phone the front desk, we can phone for room service, we can, which is included, it's 24 hours. Um, we can phone the butler, so we can request any help from him. There's some more storage here. I haven't actually found the perfect use for this yet on a cruise, but I'm still, still working on it. Let me know what you use it for in the comments. I'd be definitely interested to know that. So we have, just below that, we have the glasses and the mini fridge. Let's open that up. So this is the mini fridge, which is obviously included because this is Silver Sea. And when I was talking, when Chester introduced himself and we were going through everything in the cabin, he was asking me what my preferences were to have stocked in here. This is the basic for when I arrived, but he know, he now knows my preferences and this will now be stocked to my taste rather than um, with stuff that I wouldn't, wouldn't enjoy. There's also a seat here at at the kind of countertop, which is great for preparing, for working. I will do some work on that later. It's in front of a mirror, so it's great for doing hair and makeup and all sorts of things. Just handy, but it also tucks out the way, so it's not taking any space in, in, in the cabin. And then, once again, when we get to the end, you'll also find three more drawers. Um, the top one houses the hair dryer, and the two below are just more storage space. So. I think there is a lot of storage space in here, plenty. I mean, for me, and I know with the amount that me and my wife would travel with, there would still be plenty of space in here for um, a 14 night cruise w without any problem. So the one last thing really to show you in this cabin is the balcony. So this is, the, this is my veranda. Let's open it up. It's a bit overcast here in Lisbon today, so not necessarily the perfect weather for the balcony, but let's head outside. So as you can see, there's um, two chairs. The chair, this one I've got in the upright position. I've already put this one down just to demonstrate that you can actually have this in the more of a, of a lounger position and they come with a footrest table. You can also have your breakfast out here, which is absolutely superb. Um, I highly recommend it. You order it overnight and it's they bring it in and set it up here and you can have it watching the world go by, looking at port. I mean, we have a stunning view here. The weather was better. We have the the kind of miniature San Francisco bridge, which was built by the, the same people who did the Golden Gate Bridge. So it's kind of a tribute to that. And also Lisbon and Portugal's um, tribute to, to the Christ the Redeemer statue in, in Rio. As 
I said, um, I am on deck seven. This is suite 763. So you can see kind of how far up we are. This is the port. This is the front of the ship. And as you can see, here is the Azamara Pursuit just pulling in. So that's it for the veranda. We'll head back inside now. So I think that's it. That's that's a full tour here of everything that you can find inside a deluxe veranda. I'm here on the Silver Dawn. Um, if there's anything else you'd like to know, drop uh, a question into the comments. We will, we will respond to those comments as quickly as we can. It's great to have that interaction and to be able to provide videos and more informative videos when we can. So all of your feedback is greatly appreciated. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you can see the next videos that we have coming out. So, like I said before, we have something coming out on the Azamara Onward and the Celebrity Beyond. Stay tuned.